So I'm taking all these beautiful mushrooms that I harvested from my garden this year. And we are going to turn them into a powder. How cool is that? So I have mushrooms. Most of these are oyster mushrooms because they grow the easiest. But I also have a bunch of others. Miscellaneous mushrooms. And it's going to be... Oh, we've got some of these. Aren't they awesome? Some lobster mushrooms. We're just going to make a mushroom mashup. And this I can use for a lot of different things. And after I do this, I'm going to put it in the oven to dry it properly so we don't have any issues. Let's just turn this on. Let's see if we can get these to break up. I've been looking everywhere for my paddle and I can't find it. My little thump it down thing that goes with your Vitamix. Let the powder come down. Now, what are we going to use this for? We're going to use this for so many things. You can use it once it's powdered in masks. You can use it in your food. You can make salt with it. It's a nice, beautiful, <laughs> light powder. It's so fluffy and gorgeous. And this one, I'm going to have to put it in a separate one because it has that beautiful beautiful lobster mushrooms in it which is going to give color too so you can use mushrooms for coloring if you didn't know there's a beautiful sample of a lobster oh that smells so good lobster mushroom powder so let's do a few more and let's see we've got this year's these are good ones. This year's um, hmm. <laughs> these are all edible mushrooms. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna grind these up. <coughs> mushroom, mushroom. got a nice peppery color because it's full of morels. Get 
So this is a mixture of morels. I don't know if you can see the difference. Oh, this one's darker. This one's lighter. This one's more peppery to match. Be careful to label these properly. And then, last batch are more of these beautiful giant. This my beautiful giant. These are so big. These are my giant um, oyster mushrooms. They're just absolutely gorgeous. So we've got oyster mushrooms in all of these, but this one also has lobster mushrooms. And this one also has morels. And I'll be able to store them a little more. I've got whole mushrooms, plenty of whole mushrooms set aside. So these mushroom powders will be fun too for other projects like in my soap kitchen. to show you so this is these are all culinary mushrooms we're going to do one medicinal mushroom this one is super super light see how beautiful that is so there is our beautiful <laughs> oyster mushrooms powder and the last thing, look, all this beautiful stuff on here is I'm going to make a mushroom salt. But the mushroom salt we're going to make is with a dried oh, that's the one. So I have a couple of red conks, and they are dried already. So these are dried. We're going to put those in. And we're going to add salt. And then we're gonna just blitz this, hopefully, without destroying my blades. And make a beautiful uh, mixed mushroom and medicinal mushroom salt that I can use with my cooking. <laughs> particular mushroom has almost a woody texture so it's light and fluffy and now that I've <laughs> you can see how fluffy and woody it is it's a really fun mushroom um, to add to to a salt um, I can take this powder and add it a little more salt to it and then use it as I would any other salt so I'm going to mix in all of the beautiful oyster and lobster and morel mushrooms in with this gorgeous conch salt. <laughs> oh, I had fun today. Let's do a little recap. Lobster, morel, and just plain oyster. And all of them have oyster because that's what I grow in my yard. If you enjoyed this, please click like and subscribe and I will make sure I put a lot of information here on <sighs> mushrooms, these mushrooms, so that you uh, can get an idea of what the wild mushrooms of Vancouver Island are. So those two tiny conks gave me enough mushroom salt to last for a year. So you don't have to get greedy when it comes to uh, Northwest Rishi, you can, <sighs> a little goes a long way. Look at that. Bye for now.